Hi folks, thank you for joining me once again. It's a port this one, it's conversion. My name is Nick, on the Commodore Amiga, and the game is Forgotten Worlds, published by US Gold in 1989, based on the arcade cabinet from Capcom in 1988. It's a game we've already reviewed on the Commodore 64. It's a horizontal scroller shooter, which was let down a little bit by just um, the control system, basically. Um, you can aim your gun in certain directions, going around 360 degrees, pressing fire and uh, up, but it makes it very hard to navigate around the screen at the same time. Let's see how the Amiga version plays. Uh, now the arcade cabinet had eight levels, this one has only got four, so it's not the full um, game there for some reason. Look at this fella. Did you find the guy? Um, yes, I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, not expert gameplay, you know this. Let's see how we got on with our first second go, with being enough there to play it again. What's this bloke gonna say? Say something. Well, barely heard that. Very quiet compared to the actual music itself. So let's go, go, go. We're blasting through. It's an apocalyptic world. I think the uh, planet's been reduced to dust or something. Uh, we got a, a Avenge. Now, it's one to two players, but I'm the only player here. There's music playing, although you can change that just to sound effects if you want. My uh, strength, my energy left, is down in the left. You can collect power-ups, and there's these coins to collect, which you can spend in shop to upgrade your weapon. Now, this is a bit where it's going a bit weird. I didn't really want to um, do the directional fire, because that makes it look like you're travelling around uh, uncontrollably, which I am. Now, some people would have perfected this control system, but just like the Commodore 64, I find it incredibly difficult. There's a little bit of parallax scrolling going on, which is it is quite nice to look at, but it just controls so terribly, like the Commodore 64 version. And actually, I'm, I'm having even more difficulty controlling this than the Commodore 64 version. What's going on there? Now, I think the game also came out on the uh, Mega Drive, so we'll have to look at that at some point. With the three button controls, uh, rather than just one fire button, it might be a little bit easier to control, a bit easier to complete. Now, if you had this game back in the day, then let me know. But, uh, yeah, my tactic would be, if I can just get the gun to be horizontal for a second, it's just to try and stay in one corner going up and down. I would have hated this as a kid, but the screenshots might have lured me in. If you're liking your Commodore Amiga stuff, don't forget, we've reviewed quite a lot now. The good, the bad, mostly the bad, but there are some great ones and some good ones. They're all in the playlist. Click on my username to get there, it takes you to the channel page, then click on the playlist tab. The Commodore Amiga there with a load of other stuff. What's going on here? Now, some people complain that my gameplay is poor. I know this, it's not a secret, it's been poor for 10 years. Uh, get with a program, girlfriend. It's about seeing how you got on with the game and also stress and busting. Uh, might have glanced through the instructions, but um, you know, it's the kid ripping into the game rather than the adult, which we are now, sh shaking our heads, saying, Why haven't you read every single syllable? You're not getting the best out of this thing. But anyway, I was a fickle kid. I don't know if you were. Forgotten Worlds, I might forget about this a bit later on. I understand the arcade cabinet was quite. Quite a cool looking game. These first two conversions I looked at, Commodore 64 and Commodore Amiga, aren't, aren't particularly blowing me away in a great deal. Don't have the game come out on the Spectrum, but uh, if it did, it's probably going to have the same control problem that, that we have in here. There's this guy. Um, yeah, did you find the guy? And the next bloke's going to say something or other. I will edit down these gaps as it lows between each level. So if you're playing it, don't be surprised if it's taking a bit longer than what you're seeing here. I'll definitely finish this game for sure. We only reviews to be about 10 minutes, although I might struggle with this one. Uh, but, um, yes. I, uh, let's, it wouldn't be in my top 10 horizontal scroller shooters of all time, just because the control mechanism is so bad. If they'd managed to sort that out somehow, maybe like spacebar to rotate the gun, uh, rather than the, using the, the, uh, the, the joystick, then that might have been a little bit better. Would have been a lot better, because it's a shame really, because it sure looks nice. Eight levels on the arcade, just four here, and that would have annoyed quite a few people as well. They probably ended a bit too soon. It seems to um, stutter every now and again. Don't know if that's my particular uh, version, but anyway. Maybe second player going around the screen like a nincompoop and me staying here. So this isn't really how the game should be played, just staying on one side going up and down. But that's how I'm playing it, to try and get some sort of like uh, control over the thing. Can I complete level one? Well, I don't know. If I do, then that's going to be a major success here. If you are a crazy person spinning around in space with a gun going around in all directions and you don't know what to do, then comment in the comment section below how the hell did you type on your keyboard while all that was going on. There's some uh, buildings in the background. 
uh, some nuclear winter or bomb or alien nincompoop has blown them to shreds. My score is in the top left. Player 2 has got zero, so I'm beating him on the count that he didn't turn up. And in life, 90% of success is just showing up in the first place. Yeah, it does stutter every now and again. I don't know if it's the music that's causing that or the uh, graphics. It makes me really want to play the arcade version now, you know, because I think with the better control system, this game would really liven up. Never saw it in the arcades. Maybe it was a bit of a hit. Boom, boom, boom. If you played in the arcades, then tell me your experiences of the thing. Did you complete it? And how much money did you have to put in to actually complete the thing? Probably the cost of the uh, whole machine itself. Right, we're coming out to the shop, man. Let's get in there and see what's available, any upgrades and stuff. I haven't collected too many coins because I haven't been going around the screen too much because I've been worried that I'd lose control of myself. Yes, you know what that's like. Shop, item and satellite. Right, here you go. The curtain's open and here's this broad. Hmm, looking like from some Japanese thing. Right, medipack, uh, flying stone. Hmm, I'll purchase that. My, uh, my amount's in the top left, you know this. Uh, she's not talking much, this woman. Maybe she's a robot. Anyway, if you if you are a robot salesperson, then comment in the comment section below. Do you have any downtime? Thank you very much. Off we go again. Bum ba ba bum ba ba bum ba 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 bum. US Gold did a load of rubbish conversions. It has to be said. This one is, uh, despite the terrible controls, this is one is one of their better looking ones. They've obviously spent more time in it than others. It's just that the scrolling's so good. That's what's making this uh, game. It's, it's it's a crying shame, really. It's annoying me. I don't know what... Um, it's annoying me that they couldn't do that extra bit to make it good. I don't know what they scored back in the day. From screenshots alone, it scored quite highly. From playability, it scored quite low. So maybe maybe got 50s and 60s. I'm not scoring it that high because I'm not enjoying myself and for me uh, it's all about playability in these games. It can look like the greatest game in the world but if it doesn't play very well it's extremely frustrating and equally the game uh, graphically looks quite poor uh, but it plays really good. You can ignore, ignore a lot of stuff because you actually are enjoying yourself and getting to any sort of like decent distance. Don't get me wrong, great graphics and great playability combined makes the most awesome game ever but they're, they're few and far between. Right. Boo, boo, boo. Lots of horizontal scrollers, shooters to uh, choose from. Am I getting near the end now? I think with this this basic tactic, which is not in really in the, uh, the way the game should be played. But anyway, seem to be doing it. Play um, stage one should always be the baby stage to try and get you into the game, get you hooked. Where are we now? Can't remember. There's any any level bosses in the first game. Right here we go. Yeah, I think it might just flow to stage two automatically. Uh, now I've losing control and I, I need uh, you need this directional shots to take out the emplacements here because they need to go yeah you can't just go straight on stuck on some pipe work if you are stuck on some pipe work comment below as well it says Capcom in the background there but I think I've just died have I I've died I've died level bleh. oh dear anyway not my hair uh, just in the actual uh, physical game do, 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 do. Well, there it is. Forgotten Worlds. Pretty much forgettable. I don't really uh, want to play it again, to be 100% honest uh, with you. But uh, I, I don't think I don't think we will. So I hope you like to have a look at that game. Quite a short review, only because I don't want to go back and play it again. And um, you've probably seen all the playability there. I'm not getting too much further than that. So I hope you like to have a look at that game. That was Forgotten Worlds on the Commodore Amiga, published by US Gold in 1989, based on the arcade game from Capcom in 1988. If you're going to come up this game, similar games, anything retro or anything uh, arcadey related to this, then put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome, and I love reading in your comments and to next time take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye goodbye now some people complain that my gameplay is poor i know this it's not a secret it's been poor for 10 years uh, get with a program girlfriend